No one ever says, Po be who. When you say Poby and you're in Stanford, you know who Poby is. I met Poby 40 years ago, 1973. I was asked at that time to serve on the board of SATIA. If you think about 38 years that I've known Poby in the housing arena. I've known Poby since I first arrived in Stanford before I had or sought public office. When we were working together to help others in public service. Her impact is everywhere. Either it's behind the scenes, which you can pretty much say that almost every development that went on here, there was somewhere that Poby was pushing and prodding and connecting and being the matchmaker and doing whatever needed to be done so that the agenda gets put forth. It's not easy to build housing. That's why anybody that's involved in the, the process of providing housing for either affordable or lower and moderate income families. Not easy, not easy. I've worked with her on several occasions, including New Neighborhoods, which is one of her pets. She knows Pat Marshall, or knew Pat Marshall very, very well, was a strong supporter of Pat Marshall, and always helped Pat Marshall get New Neighborhoods started, and has worked with New Neighborhoods ever since. And if you remember back in the early 70s, uh, New York City was teetering on bankruptcy, and Stanford wasn't this wonderfully vibrant place it is today and Poby's leadership and helping to forge where we were going to go in housing and community development uh, made that 10 years that I was the development director to be really successful. It was a decent, safe and sanitary place for people to live. That was the objective. And it's true for older people. It's true for young people just starting out. It's true for people who've seen hardship in their life for some reason or other, but it certainly makes the, le the rest of your life easier if you can have a decent place to live. There's a picture of Poby and I when I was leaving in 1984. Something over 1,300 housing units were either rehabbed or built during that period of time. Over $90 million in federal subsidies happened, housing subsidies happened during that time. Someone who not only really believes in opportunities for low and moderate income people, but who's always figuring out how you actually deliver, how you actually get the programs to meet people's needs, to meet them where they are, and to help them today. As you know, she ran for mayor, and in my estimation, should have been mayor. Uh, she was born 10 years too soon. If it had been 10 years later, she probably would have been and Poby is a wonderful person to talk to if you want to know anything about Charter Revision because she can go back years and years and years uh, when she was an aide for uh, Mayor Lenz and when um, Walter Kennedy was the mayor. Uh, Poby goes way back well, on the various Charter Revisions. She can tell you verbatim about every change that's ever been made to the Charter City of Stanford. She's kind of been, in some cases, the de facto mayor. Uh, she's been um, the de facto community leader. Um, she's usually at the center of everything good that's happening in Stanford. And if you look at her career, Citizens Action Council, political, mayor's office, SASHA, the business community, I mean, she was the person who touched each of the different pieces of Stanford and, um, and had a great, great impact on this city. I think the city of Stanford owes a lot to Poby for everything that she's done, you know, for housing, affordable housing, senior citizen housing, you know, and uh, she's been really the champion and the cheerleader of, um, of that cause. I remember talking to Pat Marshall because we had worked together to get public schools rather than being sold, that they would be uh, used to develop housing in Stanford. I asked Pat, I said, well, how are you gonna manage that? You know, I think I could do that. What could I do? Read the regulations, figure out what to do run a house, you can just multiply it by any number of rooms and just go for it. And uh, mm -hmm. that's the way I started my almost, what, 18 or 19 year career managing the two properties for new neighborhoods. She was fair and square. You had a problem that you couldn't solve. Poby was the person to see. And when you left, 
you had the problem solved. Her and I have, have uh, done a few things that we changed this, the one-way street the opposite way and we went both of us and we spoke and they changed it because we made them understand that it was for children's sake. It wasn't a thing that I couldn't go to Poe before or ask her about that she didn't have a more positive attitude, a calming influence on the way she would handle the matter and always generous in, in everything. She, uh, over time, uh, when I met with her, she always had something very uh, good to say about uh, the, uh, the properties and the places where she was working. One day after I was talking to her uh, about things, I said, you know, Poby, you're becoming my consigliere. And she looked at me and she said, no, I'd prefer to become your capo. No matter how challenging the obstacle, politically or otherwise, Poby has always been a believer in housing, always fighting against the odds when there was opposition and never wavering. I am deeply indebted to Poby because it was very rare back in the 70s that a woman in a hiring position would extend her mentorship to another woman. And I found that colleague to colleague, woman to woman thing to be very, very important to my career. My son lives two houses away from Poby. And it's funny how she is still a catalyst in her neighborhood. Uh, the city of Stanford I don't think would be the same without Poby Johnson. I think Poby's impacted everything that she's touched in Stanford and uh, she has touched a lot of things. And I know Pat is probably smiling to see that Poby is being honored. They were great friends and um, so completely aligned in terms of mission and outlook that uh, this is really very, very fitting. And I think it can prove that people of goodwill committed to the same purpose can get things done. Uh, there's no uh, end to what can be accomplished if you don't care who gets the credit.